But yeah, I'm still fascinated by it. I don't think I'm ever going to be not blown away by cool technology. I think nowadays, especially with everyone seemingly um, giving a shit, seeming, especially with everyone appearing to give more of a shit about societal issues that are way above their purview. Um, I think we've kind of um, not, we've kind of stopped being awed or like wowed by really cool gadgets or really cool bits of innovation, something like, you know, SpaceX, Tesla Motors, um, the stuff that um, uh, Jeff Bezos is doing with his spaceship company, I forgot what it's called, the one that's going to the moon. We, f- we, stop being, we stop being awed by these things, but I think we shouldn't. I think we should still be thinking, you know what, Nat, we're living in some time, some of the best of times. We're seeing some amazing technological leaps, and some of these things are probably things we won't be able to see maybe in our generation, but for our kids' kids, like they're going to live in a real, real crazy world. Like It's going to be similar to what we all thought um, it was, was going to happen when we used to watch the Jetsons back in the day, right? But it didn't, it didn't necessarily transpire that way, but it's kind of slowly but surely getting to that place. So this is Uber Air. It's Uber's solution to combating congestion in highly dense um, cosmopolitan cities. You know, um, it's the comes from that common phrase. I think, well, that phrase I've heard Elon Musk mention during his keynotes when you're talking about a boring company about our life being 3D, but our transport system being 2D, and the fact that going underground in tunnels are allowing it to be more of a 3D kind of you know destination um, routes, whatever maybe. So you can you can basically you can basically build more tunnels. Um, then you could do roads on top of each other and with different destinations. So I'm assuming they want to do the same thing with um, the helipads and stuff on Uber. And Uber Air is kind of, I'm sure, I'm assuming aiming this more towards high flying executives who are, you know, who really value the amount of time they spend um, in transport, right? In public transport from going from place to place. Um, a, lot of their, a lot of their deals are dedicated about how quickly they can reply, how quickly they can get to a meeting. All that kind of time sensitive stuff. So, again, really interesting to look at. I'm not sure if it's something that everyone will be comfortable to use. Um, essentially, if you're listening via YouTube, it looks like a drone that like you'd see people use when they're doing their filmings and stuff. Um, it looks like a really large drone. It looks autonomous as well to me. It kind of flies off of um, various um, helipads around the city. I'm assuming they're doing that because they won't be able to get permission from run from um, run from airport runways. Um, the aviation um, budget policies are super, super strict. I'd imagine so. So the easiest way to do is maybe to partner up with buildings and get them to kind of lease out their telepads that aren't probably in use as much as they should be and get them to use it that way. But visually, it's a stunning thing. The cockpit looks really nice and really clean. Um, it looks autonomous to me. Might not be autonomous. Maybe there will be a driver for safety reasons just in case it does fail and they could then kind of go back into manual control. The aircraft itself looks beautifully designed. Um, propellers on the back, propellers on the front that kind of tip forward and they're tipping now in terms of when it comes into flight. And again, just a really, really well done uh, device, which maybe then goes to show that they have to be stricter laws when it comes to drones because these are probably going to fly within the same kind of altitude, I think, as a drone, right? Would they probably fly the same sort of level of altitude? So the drone laws are probably going to have to be tightened a lot more because you can easily see accidents happening if they just allow drones and these kind of, you know, um, commuter drones flying in the air like that without any sort of recourse or any kind of, you know, regulation. That won't be a good sight for anyone. So, yeah, the, so far the video has this drone flying across the cityscape, landing on an Uber branded helipad. And then this helipad kind of lowers the occupants down into an underground garage, which then takes them to their destination. Again, looks really, really cool, man. I'm a big fan of it. I've got to be honest. I think it looks amazing. Wow. Pretty cool. Again, pretty cool and something that I'm not going to be not be awed by. I'm not sure how it's going. I'm not sure if your regular pun on the street is going to be up for it. I'm not sure if they're going to be something they're going to be down for. But I think for the person out there who is a bit, works in a time-sensitive environment, who needs to close deals, who needs to keep moving. I mentioned, there was a video actually prior to after, which I'm not going to go for again, but in the video, one of the, one of the team that is part of, you know, making this project come to life at Uber mentioned something along the lines of, oh, we envisage, we envisage the person that's going to use um, Uber Air, that they're going to use a, m- a number of other Uber services, whether it's a bike or the scooter or the car to get to one destination place. Then if the traffic is too crazy, they'll then go up to a building where the helipads are, go to the top floor, get in a helicopter, go to the other point of their destination, get off and then continue their journey, which to me seems a bit long, right? 
to take an Uber to you know, to go to somewhere I don't know across town and the traffic the traffic's really deep and then you might get a little message on your phone that says hey would you like to take a helipad you click that and you get to go to that building to go up again it just seems like a long thing to do I'd rather just sit in a car and get to my destination but again maybe that's just me maybe other people want to if they can shave off 10 minutes 15 minutes of their time waiting in traffic it probably is worth it but to me the hassle of going up and down stairs or up down lifts and crossing streets is probably not worth it but again i think most likely than not this is really going to be not be it won't be centered around people who want to get to you know one side of the city to the other it's going to be more centered around people who actually need to get the deals done because imagine a helipad in a high-rise building will probably be not that far off from where the actual offices from of the executive they're going to meet they usually got the top floor office anyway so you're only going to travel a couple of floors down do your meeting sign the papers shake the hands and then go back in your helicopter and go back to your workplace again so that'll probably work that way but yeah an amazing invention an amazing innovation i'm not sure if when it's going to come out or when they're going to roll it out but this is a kind of cgi um representation of it so far on youtube i'll link in the show if you guys to check out but again looks pretty interesting